Not too sure. So I'm gonna roll you toward me a little bit there. And I'm actually gonna push you back just a little bit because the pants are sliding. There we go. Sliding. Yeah, yeah. Good, right there. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Crack Addicts YouTube channel, home to chiropractic media. Now in today's video, we've got another big chiropractic adjustment video featuring lots of chiropractors, all your favorite ones. All of the links to the chiropractors will have links in the description to their channel. If you wanna check them out, that's where you can do that. Or if you wanna contact them for treatment, that's the way to go. Now for the upload schedule on this channel, I'm going to be posting videos every single day. So everyone's got fresh content every single day to watch. Now I'm going to be posting the content at 8.15. That will be USA time. And for everyone who's in London, that will be around 1.15 p.m. But that's pretty, pretty much it for today's video, guys and girls. So if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Now, uh -huh. right there between the shoulders. Yep. Big breath in for me, please, and let it all go. Good. That's a big one. Yeah, good <laughs> movement. That's what we want. And then let's have you turn on your back. Something where well, you're not moving as much. So that top bone there. Yeah. On the left. A little bit here. There it is. Stuck. Not anymore. Stubborn. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So we're going to check the knees now. And was there, which, which is the one that you had the surgery on? The left. The left. Okay. Yeah. So. As we come here, first thing I'm feeling for right here in the joint is just the positioning of these two bones, the femur and the tibia, how they're lining up. And then I start to feel for motion and on the inside part right there. So I'm feeling a muscle behind the knee. It's called the popliteus. The popliteus unlocks the knee. So I'm, I'm gonna just feel for motion here as I rotate the knee up and down i'm just feeling under my fingers for motion right there mm -hmm. on the inside part it's it's getting stuck and that's one of the things that we'll see when there's a problem in the meniscus is it's just right there again yeah, yeah. yeah it's just it's not moving it's not moving how it should as i come to this other side i'm going to feel same thing for motion this is just a good yeah so this one's yeah so right there, right? yeah so much better and it glides through all the way and i what i mean by that is under my finger here on the inside part it's moving as i move the leg yeah. these should be moving through their normal motion so i'm gonna have you dig your heel into the table i'm gonna try to push the toes out don't let me this is testing that popliteus here Okay, and then let's check this other side for reference. Same thing, I'm gonna push out, don't let me. So that one's, I'm pushing more and I can't budge it at all. This one, the quality of that, before we move anything, yeah, so there's some rotation on it also. It's rotated out yep. and it's moved back, so we need to bring it toward us here. And then a little pull toward me. A little more like that, gotta light your foot off the table, there we go. small one there so already it's way better the yeah so when i do this it should feel yeah it does feels better it's moving now yeah but we still have a slight rotation and we'll show what i mean by that too as a muscle test so on this inside part i wouldn't expect it to be as strong but let's test that outside part first so i'm going to have you point your toes out there we go and the whole foot i mean like soften for me a little bit right there hold okay. right there okay. I'm gonna try to push your whole leg down toward the floor don't okay. let me your foot okay good now let's turn the toes in I'm gonna push your whole leg down toward the floor don't let me not as strong yeah that feels weaker yeah and that's the inside part engagement so together when we get this just right so this is just gonna be a rotation of that tibia there, and it sounds loud 
How does that feel? It doesn't, it feels like a normal, just slight movement, slight pressure. And even when I was doing it with my hands, yeah, no it was pain. very light. Yeah. It was a very, it's a small movement. So we're gonna check even the foot yeah. where those come down into this. So there's two things definitely here and in the foot on the outside part. Right there, we're gonna make an adjustment. Yeah. Tender. There we go. So moved well. It's gliding back. That's the cuboid now on the top here. Checking the whole ankle mortis. Talus. Good. And then the calcaneus for the heel bone. There we go. And right there, the intermediate cuneiform, one of the bones through the midfoot that's stuck. Is that, I don't know the center at all, Melanie. Yes, no, it is tender. They almost made me have surgery on that part of my foot. Really? What'd they yeah. say? They told me, oh shoot, what did they call it? it they called it like um, and something or an and, oh shoot, I don't remember what it was, but they were going to put a plate on the top of my foot because I was having so much pain mm. in that arch right to through the top of See, yeah. she never told me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Let's check this foot also, and then what we'll do this last one on the knee we're actually gonna do from that other direction. No more on, there we go. Can that be from going up on my toes and like being in heels and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the biggest thing that we see from that too is a change in this joint right here. So up under that big toe and where bunions will come from. Mm -hmm is make a quick adjustment right there to bring that up where it should be. There. And then commonly too, it'll be not just in that joint, but one down from at the base of that first metatarsal, if you want to call it. That one's fine, but this one's not. Right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was quick to say yeah on that one. You let the knee fall, and then on this one, uh, it'll drop. There it is. If you're a nerd out there watching, you can nerd out. So right there. So that's part of the bone. Yeah, is that tender? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that moves as, should move, mm -hmm. as we do this on the foot. Okay. Moving up, but it's not back down there. So I'm gonna be right on that, that's the fibular head. Relax your leg into me. I'm gonna grab this. A little pull. There. Pelvis here, looking at Melanie's leg length. There's definitely a difference in that right one's showing up short. She's shaking her head yeah, yes. I can feel it. <laughs> she can feel that. What does it feel like? <laughs> it just it's it feels like you can more immediately press on like my hip bone here than it is on my left side. Yeah, so she's really smart. So that's moved back in space actually. And is that tender there also? Yeah. On that right side. Yeah. Okay, so let's start you on your side facing me, please, like you're sleeping. Okay. And we're not doing a full assessment here with Melanie today. She's someone we've been working with for a while and we'll have some things here and there that come up. And since she was feeling some stuff in the knee today, I asked her if it'd be okay if we film it to show. So I'm gonna roll you toward me a little bit there. And I'm actually gonna push you back just a little bit because the pants are sliding. There we go. Sliding. Yep. Yeah. Good, right there. Perfect. And then face down one more time for me. Let me drop the head. Rest. Yeah. Now we're good. So let's have you walk on it even, please. And I will, thank you. We'll see how it feels how as you feel. move on it. Yeah. <laughs> It's like blood is rushing to it, which is which is a good thing. It's a great <laughs> feeling. It's a great because it's like fresh blood going to that area. Yeah. Um, which helps with like recovery and stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know what you just mentioned too is that you feel like your maybe muscles are engaging better, right? Yeah. In your legs. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So for anyone maybe out there watching who hasn't had their feet adjusted or their knees adjusted, what would you explain and maybe even how it feels or the difference um, from from having it done? It, it feels like your feet are brand new. Uh, <laughs> Up next, we have Dr. Joseph Cipriano.
Take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. And then I'll have you flip to the other side. Okay. That's, the, that's what they usually do. Is Maybe I don't need that. Maybe. That's his favorite one. I want to do it. I want to shoot. He jumps over. He's a big guy. <laughs> I do it. I'm serious. He sits over. I go to. It's little tweaks and little things. I just don't watch all the videos. Because it doesn't. <laughs> Now, was this the side with the uh, ACL? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go a little lighter on this. Oh, well, that was like 10 years ago. I mean. No issues was, with it? No. Okay. Uh, ankle. I know. Saying. That's what I'm like. Is it my ankle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ankle would be saying that one. I felt a little one on that one. Yeah. And then. Uh, See, like even that was already clear. Mm -hmm. um, let your arms, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that feels really good. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.